Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wednesday's Warcraft, where I'll be talking about the world of Warcraft. And But this episode, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about a different game that's out, well, not out quite yet, but they've been an announcement that could possibly have a direct impact on the game World of Warcraft. It's something that they're doing for Diablo 3. They're going to be having an in-game auction house like they do for World of Warcraft. But the system is going to be, it was going to have the same setup where you earn the money in-game to buy items that other people put on the auction house. But here's the potential difference. They're also having a second model with this setup. They're having it set up to where you can pay with virtual money or real cash. Now think about this for a moment. Now, you're not paying Blizzard to buy something that somebody put on the auction house. The money that you're paying is going to the actual person that you've bought the item from. They're going to be getting money. Their account is going to be getting money. Now, Blizzard will be getting a small cut of this itself to pay for the whole system, perhaps to even pay for the game. But of course, now this setup, now here, this is how it could potentially affect World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft right now, set up, you know, with the auction house, the way it is set up in, Blizz in World of Warcraft is it's, you know, you pay for stuff with the virtual money that you earn in the game. Stuff in the game of World of Warcraft is, you know, you pretty much have to earn to get the stuff. And let's talk a little bit about the people, you know, gold sellers. This is one reason I personally do not like gold sellers. And the whole buying and selling of gold in game. Paying real money for virtual, paying real money for fake money. Now, on and of itself, that sounds, you know, kind of stupid. You're paying real money for fake money. But, well, let's take a look at this virtual currency. And if you're putting real money into it to get, you know, the in-game money without working like you would normally have to do, you know, you're going to be unfairly boosted with the amount of gold you have. And, like, if it was legal to actually buy and sell, you know, not legal, but against the contract, of World of Warcraft to buy and sell you know, gold, it would cause in, you know, inflation in the game. It would be unfair advantage to the people who are actually paying the real money to get stuff. Because you know, they're getting the money and all this virtual money is being pumped into the system. And since that's the case, people who are selling stuff are going to be raising their prices on the auction house to compensate for more money that is coming into the system, thus unfairly hurting the people who are actually playing the game the way it was originally intended or can't afford to buy gold. Now the question is here is okay, let's say Blizzard implements the also the optional pay real money for items on the auction house. Now is this a system of putting virtu you know, real money in for virtual money? Well, here are a few possible scenarios and I would definitely want you to comment on what you think of the whole situation because you're not putting in the virtual money. I mean, you're not putting in real money for virtual money. You're putting in the money for objects. And so doing so, you're not paying somebody your real money to get in-game money, thus inflating the money market in the game. You're getting actual items. Now, one possible side, downside of this is, okay, if you're putting in the money to get the items, you're downgrading, in a way, the worth of the items to the people who have legitimately you know, worked and earned to get it. To, to get the money in-game 
to afford it if you can just whip out your paycheck. I mean, just whip out your bank account and put in the information and get the item. Of course, one side effect, you know, one possible thing is it would put the possibility that, okay, say you want to you know, get the item and say you want to sell it for real money. Oh, you can do that. And if people buy that, you're getting money, you know, real money. There's a possibility that you could actually use the game World of Warcraft to actually honestly, legitimately make you money. Now, I would love to hear your sides of the ar arguments, anything you have to say about this, about you know, real money being put into this system. If you think it's a good idea for World of Warcraft to potentially use this, you know, real money into the auction house feature, or if you think it's a bad idea, if you think it's terrible, I want to hear what you have to say. I want a discussion on this subject because I personally think this is something that's a potential game changer issue. And just post what you have to say. There'll be discussions, you know, no flaming on the issues, but like I said, like I've said before, I would love to hear what you have to say. And as always, have fun and keep gaming.